Hi, this is Jeff with iPhone Download Blog. Now we're going to talk about some more basic iPhone concepts. Two of the most important things you can learn how to do is how to delete and how to move an app. Now I know this sounds simple, but there are a lot of people who are new to the world of iPhone. Maybe you got an iPhone um, recently as a gift or you just recently decided to just dive in to the world of Apple. And that's okay. I mean, we all had to start somewhere. So I'm going to explain how to move an app icon and how to delete an app completely. Now, first of all, you need to become familiar with the concept of jiggle mode. Now, to get into jiggle mode, all you do is you tap and hold on any app on your home screen. It doesn't matter which one it is. So I'll just pick one at random. How about settings? I'll just tap and hold on settings. And then you see the app icons. They're jiggling now. This is called jiggle mode. Now, once the apps are, are in jiggle mode, then they are vulnerable, so to speak. They can be moved and they can be deleted. Well, at least some of them can be deleted. Only the uh, app icons with the X's can be deleted. The app icons without X's, they can be moved, but they cannot be deleted. Take the clock, for example. I can move the clock anywhere I want to move it, but I cannot delete the clock. There is no X in the upper left hand corner that will allow me to delete the clock. It's one of the uh, stock applications that comes with the iPhone, hence it cannot be removed. But you can move it anywhere you would like to move it. So you not just limited to moving on the same page, you can move over to the next page by just sliding over to the edge. You can even create a brand new page by sliding it all the way over and it'll be by itself uh, on its own page like that. So you just hit the home button again, which is down here, home button, and that exits out of jiggle mode. So that's how you move an app icon. Now how would you delete an app? Well again, you can only delete certain apps. You can only delete applications that you've downloaded from the app store. So that means any of the, the apps that are not stock applications, for instance like Pandora or Skype or Reader. So let's get back into jiggle mode. And now there's quite a few applications here. Most of them on this screen are stock applications, hence you cannot delete them. But if you page over, you can see more of the um, downloaded apps that can be deleted. So I'm just going to pick an app here. Let's see. Let me pick Google. I'll just delete Google. So I'll hit the X. And it prompts me. It says, deleting Google will also delete all of its data. That's fine. I'm going to go ahead and tap delete. And now Google is completely deleted from my iPhone. If I want to get it back, I'm going to have to re-download it from the App Store again. So that's the basics on moving apps and deleting apps. Remember, you cannot delete a stock application such as the uh, Messages app or the Calendar, but you can move them. And you can both delete and move downloaded apps that you downloaded from the App Store. Hope this was informative. and. Um, you can look at some more of our tutorials, such as creating folders or other things of that nature in some of our other videos. This is Jeff with iPhone Download Blog.